Welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Last time we headed out into the open-ish hub of Detroit. Let's see, missions. <clears throat> We collected some blackmail footage to help out a buddy of ours who was at risk of being blackmailed. And now, let's see, what are we doing now? I think, yeah, we're going to go see a detective. <clears throat> about the investigation of the um, Seraph attack. Why did I stop on that for? I don't know why I'm going... Oh, oh there is no exit down. Oh, huh. Never mind me. Um, I want to say this code was 2020. Oh, it's just 0002. Weird that music like that is playing. There is just a little money, I guess. Huh. Not going to question it too much. Uh, what's in my inventory that I want to sell? I know there's something. Oh, the shotgun. I have the energy jar that I want to keep, the hypo stims, which are um, the health bonus items. Uh, let, let's go ahead and sell things first since I'm over here, and by things I mean a weapon. Got a decent chunk for it. Alright, let's go see this detective. <laughs> Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case and the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists it felt like being the scrawny new kid in the prison shower. It is a very high-profile case. Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this, this was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions. And every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got scared. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have you got? First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up. Maybe even outside the local department. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. 
There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local precinct. Well, well, while you're there, there was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay. I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily, but I'm pretty sure you can find some dirt on him on his desktop. His office is on the third floor. You might find something there to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah. When the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence was stashed in a storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Bah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please. Don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. That's all I need for now. All right, so we've got a few different steps to take. <clears throat> Let's see. Kendall. Actually, he's right there. Oh, he's in this apartment building. Uh, honestly, might as well. Oh, no, he's right here. Whoops. Jensen? What are you doing here? I think you know why I'm here, Tyndall. I want Corella's security footage back. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Seraph Industries' chief of security. I'm pretty sure I can find out about an edited security tape, so don't bullshit me. Ah, oh, shit. Listen, Jensen, I never wanted things to get this bad. I'm not a bad guy. I feel for Corella, I really do. But sometimes, for a good cause, you have to get your hands dirty. Oh. There's a good cause now? Oh, I see. You think I'm selling the stuff, right? I understand why this would seem like an obvious motive, especially to an ex-cop. But trust me, you shouldn't always take things at face value. I'm not selling the neuropazine. I'm giving it away. Giving it away? To who? To the people who need it. You think everyone gets augmented by choice? No. Shit happens. And then what? You're saddled with neuropazine injections for the rest of your life, and that shit costs money. But what choice do you have? Without the drug, you'll die. Rejection syndrome, crippling pain, that just ain't right. So I did the only decent thing to do. I stepped up. I can respect that. But blackmail is still blackmail. Corella wants out, and I'm here to make sure he gets out. Man, this whole thing is becoming way too much trouble. I've even got two local pushers on my back because they say my philanthropic actions are undercutting their profit. That's not your only problem. A gun-toting client was waiting for you in your apartment earlier. Really? In my apartment? Shit. The dealers probably sent him. Tell you what. I'll deal with the client later. You take care of the dealers, and the footage is yours. Okay, I'll help you out. But you better not be playing me. You give me way too much credit, Jensen. I'm a security tech, not a hardened mobster. The two bushers go by the name PG and BK. They hang out in the alley near the basketball court. Just make sure they never bother me again. You're asking me to kill them. Well, that's a bit drastic, isn't it? But it's your call, as long as you leave me alone. The important thing is you need to take care of both of them. Let's see, they are... Uh, just go north. Okay, I need to see... Gameplay. Not sure what I kill on. So I can't...
make it so the map stops rotating. how I started doing one mission but now I'm like eh I'll do this one because it's right here you trying to scare me Skinner because you don't what the hell you've been reading the super spy manual or something long coat check sunglasses check attitude no doubt I'm going to need to come back here. I like how I didn't even talk to them about it. I just beat them up and went, oh, they'll leave him alone. <laughs> how many? This is almost certainly not how you're intended to Jeez. make money, but eh, I'm patient enough for it. Like, I'm pretty sure I was not supposed to be able to afford both of those Praxis kits and the healing items that I bought. Still not wasting Praxis points on sp well, I, once I can sprint silently, I probably will. How? Oops. Uh, do you have any more? Nothing that I need. I will buy the unlocked devices oh, though. I told you. I've taken care of the dealers. Now hand over the footage. Thanks, Jensen. Listen, I know it's not something you did from the bottom of your heart, but still, you saved my ass. Here's your footage. Listen, Tyndall, I know you're trying to do the right thing. But we have to do things by the book, or we'll just have chaos. I'll put you in contact with someone inside Seraph Industries. They may be able to get you neuropathy for those who need it. Seriously? You'd really do that? Wow. I never would have expected this from you, Jensen. I really appreciate this. Tell Corell I'm sorry. Alright, so once we need to head back to Seraph. I have that to do. This is bothering me. But for now, I'm just going to focus on this. Uh, 
Umbrella is there. So I want to cut through the subway station. Go next to the police station. And then I'm going to have to go in there and advance to the plot anyway. Not exactly the music I would think of dancing to. Oh man, Eliza is so hot. You're crazy. Yeah, she is. What? Sure is cloudy out. That's gotta be the alley. No, it's... Yeah, that is definitely the alley. I need to go the other way, though. Doesn't seem like that's much of an option, though. <sighs> Unless there's, like, a really convenient box around, there isn't. All right. Plan B. Because I almost certainly am not supposed to be back here. supposed to be able to get through here? Huh. Maybe it's just a red herring. Let's see. Security reading of one. Okay. I already have the code, though. Nobody's in there. <clears throat> Security rating of three. Ebook. While, I, while examining the crime scene, D Detective Hayward and I both noticed the area covered by the attack seemed abnormally damaged, burnt to a degree that could not be explained by a normal fire or the use of any known explosives. It was the same for all of the recovered victims' bodies. Residue analyzed by forensic lab officers on the scene likely from a high-tech accelerant of unknown nature. It seems the lab's equipment and victims were deliberately burned to an excessive degree. The most obvious conclusion is that this was done to eliminate all possible trace evidence, but it just feels odd, like something is off. Autopsy report on- oh, I thought Megan was kidnapped. I've been appointed by the state to perform autopsies on the remains of multiple victims of the attack on Seraph Industries. This is due to the critical nature of the incident and the need for the State Department to be fully aware of every detail without going through an endless array of bureaucratic forms and requests. 
This is no way linked to the competence of local M.E. Dr. Gerald, Dr. Gerald Campbell and shouldn't be interpreted as such. Injuries. Burns. Stimulation. No drugs detected. Cause of death is quick and intense snapping of the neck vertebrae combined with crushing pressure. Body was likely burned after the subject was deceased. Okay, that clears that up, at least. Confused witness. Apart from the Seraph Chief's, Seraph's Chief of Security, who is still in a critical condition in... Huh. And another lab technician who is lying in a deep coma in the same hospital. The only witness to the attack on Seraph, who is left alive as a tech named Arthur Hopkins. Something peculiar peculiar regarding the witness's deposition or lack thereof. When we first got to the scene, Mr. Hopkins was waiting for us in a rec room near the labs. He was obviously in shock, but was quite coherent and ready to give a clear description of the incident. The emergency response team wanted to make sure his condition was stable before allowing us to interview him. When we came back after his checkup a few minutes later, he was incoherent and confused. He couldn't remember anything about the attack. We still hadn't heard back from the ER team regarding this matter. Addendum, Captain Penn. The situation has been resolved with the medical team. Mr. Hopkins' condition has been validated. He suffered from a severe concussion. This matter is closed. There is a lot of covering up going on. Attackers are definitely professionals. Quick rundown. There was no trace evidence found at what seems to be the point of entry. The incident didn't last long, but the amount of damage was excessive. There were a large number of victims, and yet not many rounds were fired, and the accuracy was spot on. The attackers were probably all marksmen. This was the work of top-notch professionals. Seraph confirms that a new augmentation design was being tested just prior to the attack, but the augmentation itself was unharmed and no files really related to it were stolen. The obvious motive here is theft and or corporate esp espionage, but then why destroy the facility and murder everyone? A competitor would no doubt benefit from such a catastrophe, but these measures were quite extreme and to my knowledge, this is an incident without precedent. I want to note here that I've brought up this matter to Lieutenant Ashbrook on multiple occasions with no concrete results. And the safe itself. <laughs> Containing a bracelet? This item is automatically equipped. A Reed family heirloom. This bracelet was passed down to Megan by her grandmother. Megan Reed lab notes. It's hard to fathom sometimes. When I made that breakthrough in my research a couple of years ago, I never thought it would get this big. I thought it was an anomaly at first, but it's become to genetics what universal assemblers are to nanotechnology. We're talking about the holy grail of DNA here. Hell, this is Gregor Mendel big. The thing is, I have to bury the truth, not the discovery, but how I've reached my results. It's become harder lately. I betrayed someone, someone I respected for the sake of my research. I wish I had a chance to fix it, but it got bigger than me, bigger than Seraph. This is ever, if this ever came to light, Seraph Industries could be ruined. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm tired. I think I'll just wrap things up for today. So I still need to talk to Chet Wagner and Captain Penn's office. Evening. Okay, this is going to be interesting. This is about as far as I've gotten on previous playthroughs. Yeah? What do you want? 
information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And I want a blowjob in a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, Metalhead? I know you handled the critical evidence linked to the case, and I want to know about it. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And second, even if I did, what makes you think I give a shit about what you want? Now, I strongly suggest you take your high-tech toaster-looking ass out of my way before I handle you. I do hope the UN takes a concentrated look at what... Let's see, do we know where Chet's office is? Sir. Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Haas. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Ah, oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is you want something? Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. God damn. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. From SWAT team commander to a crummy desk sergeant in the Tubeth precinct. I don't need this from you. I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it, because you came to me. Okay, look, you're angry, and you've got a right to be. I'm putting you in a bad position, but I have to get inside that morgue. I won't let it get back to you. I'm always in a bad position. I don't believe this. I just got my life back together and you show up. When's it gonna end? You know the moment I open that door, it's all over, right? I'll be lucky if all that happens is I get fired. Is it really that important? Yes, your job is at risk. Yes, you've taken the blame for what happened in the past, but look, I need your help. And it's important. You got my word, whatever happens, I'll take care of you. That's good to hear. Look, I am so tired of having that incident wrapped around my throat. Yeah, I killed the kid. He was augmented. He was a threat. That's what you do. We had civilians to protect. I don't need people always second-guessing me on that! We all make mistakes, Wayne. Nobody blames you for it. You have to believe that and forgive yourself, or you'll never put it behind you. I... I'm not ready. What could I have done different? I ask myself that every day. And then I remember what it was really about all along. You, you got the order, you refused it, and I got shoved onto me. I did the only thing I could do, you understand that? I just wish it could finally be over so I could live my life. I've heard enough of this. You're lying to yourself. You pulled that trigger, no one else. You can't escape from that for the rest of your life. Accept it, make it a part of your history, and put it in your past. Because denial is only making it worse. I can't, I... Oh, hell. You're right. I've been so stupid. Two whole years. I've got to start turning things around, right now. Go on in. Don't worry about the guys, they'll leave you alone. But I need to think. Praxis well, point she received. Knows what, that's why. Hang on, I need to make sure I'm actually recording too. Alright, I actually did not remember if I hit the record button, so. Alright. Don't get me started on that liberal crap. So. I can. 
move on to the restricted area. Armory is upstairs. An extremely As is regrettable are the detective offices. They are in person to offer my deepest sympathies and assure him that these attacks are just pretend like you belong here. Let's see. No, no, oh. Oh. There's Pen. Are you supposed to be here, sir? I thought the station had been locked down. Like me. Crap. Oh. Uh. Ebook. Hearts of Steel. Laser system. Oh, hey, it's the same bachelors of... Wait a second. Oh. Like, I just kind of glanced and thought I saw Jensen. Uh... It doesn't have it written anywhere. Wait. That's quite a chip note. Secretary. Um, wait, I can search the drawer. It's gotta have been on a note, right? There's a phone number here. Uh, if he's followed station protocol, his computer's gonna be locked. else do I have access to now that I've... Ooh! That's the laser system. I do have a Praxis point. Aha! So just leveling that up once should unlock a lot for me like disabling the lasers. And the computer, of course. All right. Nuke that. Capture the clearance. That'll go last. Hopefully it's clear what I'm doing just from watching. Access granted. Because there's a lot to talk about with this one. Like, this is one of few times I think mandatory minigames in an RPG has been done well. 
Access granted. Following the recent incident at Seraph Industries, the body of an unidentified male terrorist was delivered to your morgue. You are hereby advised that this corpse has been classified ultraviolet under the revised Homeland Security Act of 2012. In keeping with Article 7, Section 3, under no circumstances is the corpse to be transferred to the city morgue. It must remain in your own facilities until my people arrive to take possession. Pursuant to this, per Section 4, all persons of blue clearance or lower are denied access to your morgue. The medical examiner may remain on site, of course, to keep the body isolated. But there is to be no, repeat, no autopsy performed. These measures will be in place until I deliver the all clear. Thank you for your understanding of this matter. Joseph Manderley. Gerald Campbell. Sir, today marks the second time this year when I have been prevented from doing my job following an attack on Seraph Industries. If there exists some question about my skill level, my ability to discreet, or the way I run my lab, I demand it be brought to my attention immediately. Professional courtesy requires a proper explanation. Query about Zeke Sanders. Afghanistan wounded, medical discharge, re enlisted under recycled military program, operations classified. Huh. Attack on civilians in Glendale Shopping Complex, Los Angeles. 13 injuries, no fatalities, siege and hostage situation. Diagnosed on site as post-traumatic acute disassociation. Remanded into medical custody, neuroprosthetic rehabilitation center near Camp Topaz, Utah, declared cured six months later and released. Leader of anti-augmentation to metastatic terrorist group backing responsive or claiming responsibility for numerous acts of breaking and entering, vandalism, theft, arson, targets all associated with the augmentation industry. MO of attacks consistently involves empty buildings with minimal security personnel, no fatalities, outstanding warrants, should be considered armed and extremely dangerous. Due to the present sensitive context, it is our recommendation that, cla that case TA-00514 regarding the terrorist attack on Seraph Industries be filed and closed ASAP. In our opinion, the conclusions proposed at this stage of the investigation are quite satisfactory. I have appointed a state medical examiner to perform the autopsies on the victims. This is a critical situation, and we must try to keep the information contained as tightly as possible. I'm certain you understand the public relations nightmare this incident implies, and will act promptly and accordingly. Have your men reassigned by the end of the day. Joseph Manderley again. Interesting. What's this way? That's just the way in without hacking, I guess. If I go this way, past where the lasers used to be, there's a traveler bonus. I can go upstairs. We're gonna stay here until I get some answers, kid. We're talking about some serious fucking crimes. Crimes? What are you talking about, man? My brother's missing and you wanna charge him? Typical. All right, let's try this again, from the top. When was the last time you saw Lucky, and who was he with? I told you, it was like a week ago. We was hanging with, with some old friends. Old friends, right. Listen, I know you both used to run with the Motor City Bank. We know Jason is still in the deep, and we know he's into something big. Yo, you got all the answers. Why are you bothering me? Okay, smart pal. How does all trafficking grab you, huh? Does that ring a bell? Maybe the DRBs are having a chat with your brother right now. Listen, pal. Now you've got nothing to say, then I'll take it. I should have figured there'd be more.
Not much I can do there. But the whole AUG trafficking thing makes me think that's going to be relevant to a main story thing later. can't open that door because oh my god Ugh. the freaking Alex Jones thing It was actually kind of funny at first, but now it's like, ugh, he's everywhere. Much like the actual Alex Jones. Okay with me walking in here. Which one are you? Good cop or bad cop? What the hell are you doing in here? Snooping. camera isn't going to be happy about me. Evening officer. Let's make him care. Okay. Not how I'm supposed to do that. Nothing in there. Find a peaceful solution. I do enjoy the almost sandboxy nature of this game. That looks like a friggin' shotgun. Uh, that 
it's just the hallway. It's a movie from the 1980s. It's about this cop. He gets all shot up. He gets rebuilt as a cyborg. Is that with Van Damme? No, that's something else. I'm surprised you never heard of it. It takes place in the future Detroit. I guess I'm just not at the sideline. Oh my god, this game is RoboCop. How did I not see it before? <laughs> Let's see, maybe there's a vent down here that I can exit. No? Aha. Less aha. Takes me up higher, but I don't need to go higher. Okay. Oh, are any of these unlocked? Normally. Aha! So I could come in here. This guy's asleep. Let's keep it that way. And we're in. I'm in. And it's only a security... Oh, jeez. Okay. Oops. <sighs> so I need to come to the top and directly up. Ah, this I one is granted. meant to scare you off. Hello, Detective Wagner. I'm a colleague. Co colleague you? That's, that's not how you spell colleague. At the 76th Precinct, and it has come to my attention that you were one of the investigators on the Seraph Industries attack a couple of months ago. I'm currently assigned to the Seraph Manufacturing Plant case. I'm sure you're aware of the recent attack. I'd really like to meet with you and get your input on your, invis on your investigation. See if we can cross-reference evidence interviews. I'll be looking to receive word from you. Detective Fred Moyes. Just a quick message to thank you for your help in the Seraph Industries investigation. You helped us handle a delicate situation. We won't forget... Huh. Homeland Security is finally ready to start its training courses. So next week, every officer is going to have a one-on-one -on -one interview with Joseph Manderley, the go-between. Each of you will be told shortly when your meeting is scheduled. These courses are mandatory. F you, man. F you. Are you effing bored? What, do you also want some to come paint a giant billboard on my lawn that says I associate with drug dealers? They could be screening my inbox, you dumb. Never ever leave written evidence, stupid. Anyway, grow some balls, Lopez. Do I have to do everything? Yo, man, we got a problem here, too. Some of them cats we stomped near the turf in City A are coming, are still coming around. I thought we had a deal, man. I let you in on the profit, but you have to keep them out of my way so I can make the extra money dealing this stuff in the first place. Now, we can make sure our friend does care about what we want. Can I open up so, Yes. Nice. Let's 
all we need to do up here is let's head back to the ground floor and have a nice civil chat with Wagner. I'm sure he's going to be nice about this. I heard there was a demonstration at the limit. Hey, chat. Are you deaf or just plain stupid? I told you to get the hell out of my way. Strong words. You're a real poet. Tell me, is that how you plan to handle the judge when they prosecute you for perjury, possession, and intent to distribute? What the hell are you babbling about, Chrome Boy? Funny story. There's this guy, Blaine Lopez. Deals dope near City Airport. A real scumbag. You know him? Because I have a nice little chat record between him and you. So you want to go to jail? Or you want to tell me what I want to know? How the hell do you... <sighs> Shit, man. Now listen. I, I just did what was asked of me. I, I didn't have a choice. Talk. Okay, look. I just came in one morning, and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business. But there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well, it's not crystal clear, but mainly... It shows the boys who attacked Seraph as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell what. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. and Nobody asks questions. You just do what they say, and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. Let's head off back to Seraph, then in our side missions. Jensen, I have a message for you from one of your former colleagues, a Detective Alexander. Jenny, what did she want? She said she could use some help if you can make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, that's where uh, Mrs. Reed is. I'm going the right way. Have you found anything? Please. I've got to know what really happened to Megan. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. The second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. Footage from one of our IntelliCams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power, who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. 
I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. But I did stumble on something I think you should have. I found Megan's bracelet. I'm sure she'd want you to have it. Oh, Adam. That's very kind of you. Her grandmother gave it to her. She loved that bracelet very much. Thank you for all you did. And, um, do you... Do you know exactly how Megan died? I read the reports. She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. It's not much, but it still brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. Don't worry, Cassandra. This is not over. I don't know how or when, but I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please, be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me, she will. And now, on to go see Corella and hear from a former colleague. I have to say, wandering the streets in this game kind of makes me want to try Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Where does this take me? Oh, is this a shortcut of some kind? Oh, wow, it actually is. I just need to give myself something to jump off of. still I didn't need to... Mm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Good. Uh, do I have anything to sell? Uh, combat rifle. Ooh, that's gonna be oh. worth a lot of money. What's your... Oh. Not as much as the shotgun. Oh. Despite being police grade... Oh well. Did you get it yet? Adam, please. You have to get that security footage back. I got the footage. You owe me one, Tim. Yeah, you got that right, Jensen. I mean, thank you so much. This is my life I just got back. Listen, I got a hold of a weapon mod. It's not much, but I figured a guy in your line of work could use it. Listen, I know you were trying to do a good thing, and I respect that. But you should do it through proper channels. Next time you might not get this lucky. Yeah, you're right, Adam. I know you're right. Listen, thanks again. Laser targeting step might actually be handy. Yeah, throw it on the lethal rifle. And I got enough experience for another Praxis point. Ooh. 
that's sprinting faster. I think at this point I need more battery. Yeah. Alright. Let's pop back into the office. Now that I'm playing this game, like, properly, I am enjoying it a lot. Objectives activation tutorial? Sorry? <laughs> Jensen, I... I heard it didn't go so well at the plant. Oh, did they really use... poison gas? God, what an awful way to die. But I... I guess you're not here to talk about that. Can I help you find something? Has anyone been in my office recently? Uh, I think the cleaning people, maybe, and, uh, that Mr. Corella was looking for you. But other than that, nobody's touched it. Up two floors and make a right. Thanks, I'll find my way. Of course. Have a good evening, sir. Who was it who wanted to... I'll look it up. Next time on Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution, we will continue doing side missions here until we run out, and then finally head into the morgue. See you guys then.